Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight we are going to do some installation of ESXi and a headless installation, which means we are going to, if you're going to install it uh, over the IPMI or ILO or iDRAC, whatever, any KVM solution from the server manufacturers. So many people they don't know how to do it uh, without the actual monitor uh, and the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to install it on a virtual machine on a Hyper-V. Uh, pretty much is it's a very uh, similar to the regular installation. I mean it's, it's uh, almost the same except you need to put the few commands uh, during the installation and after the installation so you can manage your server headless as well. Uh, if you want to do just a regular one, you have a monitor hooked up to your machine and the keyboard, all the same, just ignore the, the commands that I'm going to input during the installation. So alright, let's get started. We boot up machine. When we come to this thing, we hit tab, and then we're going to uh, put this command, ignore, headless, equal, true. That's it. Uh, we have to do it one more time during the installation after machine reboot and then uh, when the hypervisor is installed finally we're gonna uh, write down this command for the into the uh, config file so it's going to be permanent when it's installed you can whenever you can access it headlessly so without the monitor over the network whatever. Uh, you can do it as well on the virtual machine in Hyper-V, but that's uh, not going to be topic of this video. Uh, I'm going to make the next one uh, where I'm going to explain how to prepare, because you have to prepare your image file, installation file, uh, for the Hyper-V installation specifically, uh, because the, the ESXi in original installation file does not contain uh, drivers for the Microsoft legacy network adapters, virtual network adapters, so it was stuck in half of the installation. So that's why you have to modify this installation file uh, to load up the drivers into it. So when you're installing, as you see right now, these are the these uh, legacy network drivers and it says it's loaded successfully which is good otherwise it would stuck on this it would say that they are failed to load but there is a it's not a it's not too complicated you just need to download some software to run few commands and to export the image file with these drivers loaded. Alright, we're going to leave it now to install. It's installed now, we're gonna hit enter to continue, so it's going to and F11. Right now, I'm gonna press F11. I have to use my virtual keyboard because I'm uh, running virtual des desktop to my service from the Mac, and the Mac keyboard is not really Windows friendly. So we're gonna hit enter again here. 
enter. We're gonna put the root password, which we're gonna use later on to log on to our system. Enter. Now we're gonna press F F11 again to install and it's installing now. All right, now we're gonna hit enter to reboot. First, we're gonna remove installation media. All right, now we will. This screen, we have to press Shift and O together, and to enter our little command, ignore headless true again. And there we go. So, once we are, our system is up, uh, we want to enter the configuration menu. So I'm gonna press F2. Username stays a root. We're gonna put our password. If you wish to change your IP address to static, you can do it right here. Very easy, very simple. IPv4 configuration, enter. And then you're going to change your IP address, subnet mask. And the uh, gateway will probably stay the same. We're moving through the menu with the arrows, confirm with the enter, and uh, go back with the escape button. So now what we have to do is to go to troubleshooting options to make sure that the uh, shell and the SSH are enabled. As you can see, by default, they are disabled. So we're going to click enter. 
mentor again. So now when we enable shell, we need to go into the shell. We're going to do that by pressing Alt and F1. You can see it's asking to log in. So we're going to put the root as a username and you're going to put your password. Don't worry, it doesn't show any numbers or style or anything, but password is there. Once you type it, just hit enter. And as you can see, it's inside. Now we're going to have to uh, put this little string into the config file. So ESX CFG dash A D V C F G space dash K space true capital and then a well known ignore headless and then hit enter. All right, I misspelled something. What did I misspell? Let's type it again. There we go. So now, from now on, system is on, and we can always uh, run the machine without the monitor on, or we can log into the machine without the monitor. So that's good, cool, right? Now, to exit the shell, we're gonna press Alt and F2, and we're gonna be back where we left. That's it. We're just gonna leave it on like this now. So the next step, if you running ESXi 6 as I do, because I'm running it on a virtual machine and that's the only possible version that I know to run on the uh, Hyper-V. So you're gonna need to download the VMware uh, vSphere client. Uh, you can download it for free. Uh, it's evaluation ver version 60 days, I think, from the VMware side. You just need to create an account and it's absolutely free to download. Once you download it, just install it. It's very easy, very simple. Next, next, finish. And then we're going to run our VMware vSphere client. So IP address of uh, my server right now is let's see. 192.168.0.173 I have it already here so we're gonna type a root and then we're gonna type our password and hit login uh, when you do it for the first time it might just pop up with some mistake or error message uh, you just do it one more time and then when it says you for the certificate just click ignore and it's going to log in just normally yeah as you can see so we click ok and then we click login again and then you see uh, you're gonna click this install cert certificate and do not display any security warning for this your IP address and then you're gonna click ignore and then you're gonna click yes And there we are. We are into our client. So it's going to remind you that your evaluation license is expiring in 60 days. You click OK. Making the new machines is very easy, just like in uh, Hyper-V, it's very intuitive. So right click on your server, your virtual machine, your resource call. data stores, whatever, permissions, you can play around, there is a lot of things to play with. 
and that would be it in next video we're gonna uh, I'm going to show you how to create your uh, modified image file installation image file uh, so you can run it on the on the hyper V uh, that's just if you want to test it to see how it looks like or whatever before you decide whether to install it on your machine or not uh, it's not too complicated as I said it's take a little time but it's nothing nothing crazy it takes maybe 10 minutes tops so by then thank you for watching and I'll see you next time and you make sure that you click subscribe like and share please ciao thank you